Welcome. This is a TMJ tab tutorial used to examine a patient's temporal mandibular joint useful in diagnosing TMJ disorders or planning TMJ related treatments. You'll learn how to create a focal trial over a patient's condyle and learn for both a multi-slice and a 3D rendered visualization. First and foremost, the vertical range and orientation should be adjusted. Click on the adjust checkbox toward the left on the control panel to go to the adjustment view. On the bottom right of the adjustment view, you can drag the green bars that set the vertical Z range limits. These should encompass the relevant volume of interest, which in this case would be patient's mandible. Once you're done, click on the adjust checkbox again to finish the adjustments. Next, we'll make the focal trial itself. Click on the create arch spline button toward the top left on the toolbar. It will prompt you to create a focal trial on the patient's right or left. We will start with the right. We want to roughly put the focal trial over the patient's TMJ region. Use a mouse wheel to scroll through the slices until the condyle is visible and click two points across it laterally. The TMJ tab allows for more points to be inserted, but for most cases, two points is optimal. Right click to finish the focal trial construction, then click on the create arch spline button again and move on to the patient's left. Do this one just as you did earlier with the patient's right. After placing the focal trials, they can be adjusted and finely tuned until satisfied. It might be useful to look at the frontal slices on the side as a reference. Now that the focal trials are placed, you can view the slices of the TMJ. To control which slices you are viewing, you can drag the green slice array or scroll the mouse wheel on the slices themselves. If you want to view more slices simultaneously, then you can change the layout by hitting the layout button toward the top left on the control panel. There are various different layouts to choose from, and even one of 18 lateral slices. I'll go with the 9 slice view, and after I click on the layout, you can see that the window quickly updates. Controlling the slices is just the same as before, you can drag the green slice array or scroll through the slices themselves. Other ways to control the slice visualization is through the lateral slice options in the control panel. Slice width changes the captured width of each slice. Interval changes the distance between each slice. And though not shown, thickness averages the slices within the set thickness value to each slice image. A 3D rendering of the condyle can be shown as well. By clicking on VAL1 or VAL2 in frontal options, a 3D rendering should replace the frontal slices. The 3D renderer can be controlled just like in the volume render tab, allowing you to pan and zoom the volume. It even gets updated as the volume in the volume render tab is sculpted. By sculpting in the volume render tab, the fossa and the condyle shown here can be isolated. I'll briefly demonstrate the process. As you can see, the sculpting done in the Volume Render tab was reflected in the TMJ tab, and the condyle is now isolated. That concludes the TMJ tab tutorial. Thanks for watching.